Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm rebuilding a team in League 2. It is in League 2, I think it is. Yes, it is in League 2 called Colchester. And I'm doing it with the Argentinian players. And yes, that's me, Expert Khan, taking over in Colchester. You might be wondering why Argentina. Simply because the kits match the colours. And looking at the team, all the players are below 70. That is my overall target. But here... I'm going to go with Tiki Taka with the prayer, with the team width at 35 and depth always 65. That's my favorite tactic. And first player I can go for 13 million, 76 overall, but he's not willing to come over to England. That is going to be the issue signing players above the average. But first player we've got is 4.2 million OD. And this guy is an Argentinian. Hope he can take. Colchester from level A to level B and I hope he does that very soon and Aruga 600 uh, thousand 0 0.6 million I should say and he's not that funny but uh, let's see how the team plays out in the first game and oh, a draw against Wimbledon late goals Pelt took the lead 10 minutes from time and Tovide scored an equalizer two minutes from time but we have to improve the team this Sare this is Sare 3.6 million on the dot and this Argentinian is a great defender Ayala 2.6 million I hope he clears the lines more than his value and Di Silvestre 3.6 million Oh, I've got a lot of money stacked up in Colchester. I hope it works out well. 13 games into the season, guys. We are struggling with 17 in the play, in the position. Uh, Wrexham and MK Dons, the usual Dons of the League too. But then we have to entertain. We have to be entertained. As Samson Tuvide, top goal scorer in League 2, a playing Forest Green. He reminds me of Lukaku. Look alike. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. I thought that was going in. And Nube had a chance. Oh, oh, I thought that was in. Oh, that was close. More closer than I actually thought. Daniels should be clearing. But it was Stevens who threatened the goal. Forest Green coming ever so close. But again, newbie, the man in form so far. He's passing off to Lukaku lookalike and Tevedi makes it 1-0 to Colchester. Look at the time. 81 minutes. Late goals coming in from Colchester this season. Hoping they can get three points and hang on to it. And then we go to spot stop. But County is not an easy fixture. This one a bit tricky, especially with the funny kit they've got on today. I hope ooh, we've got fancy Nike shoes as well. I hope they can do it. I hope we can promote uh, Stockwell County as well, along with us. The first chance, of course, coming up to uh, Chilvers. Passes on to Eckville, Ekerici. Oh, what a finish inside the second minute. And it looks like a poor start from Stockwell County. Could result them a defeat today and home in front of their own crowd. Poor start from the kickoff. And the Argentinian puts it past the goalkeeper, making it 1-0 to Colchester. He is not happy with the squad, but he's scoring and celebrating. Chance for Chilvers. Is he going to make it 2-0 in 6 minutes? Oh my word. What is happening here? Colchester, 2-0 in 6 minutes. Unbelievable threat up front they are. The three players we've got up front. Expert Khan enjoying the thumping of uh, Stockport County. Bailey got one back, of course. It was 4 0 by then. And then we had to go to Doncaster Rovers team close by. But I think this team is really threatening this season for promotion. But I am going to be stopping them because I really don't like Don Costa and MK Dons. The two teams are really hateful so for some reason or the other. Rex and I like, stop for County I like. But this guy, Iron Side, is he going to score? He scores like an Iron Man on the half an hour mark. Don Costa take the lead here in the League 2 fixture. And we are threatening to lose first time this season at home. Chances come more for Don Costa. <laughs> That was close, but Newby had other ideas. Is he going to cross it in? Yes, he does. And he gets the equaliser just before the half-time whistle blows. More chances were going to come. I hope it was in half-time. Doncaster 
had the chance to take the lead, which they took out on the side. The guy who scored in the first half scored again for Doncaster, making it 2 1. And then the poor start. Stutter at the back, Aaron side chances for a hat trick. Oh, I thought that was in. So close, but we lost 2 1 at home to Doncaster. Bitter disappointment. Wrexham, it was at Crown Lane. Uh, Paul Mullin, if he can shut him up. If you can shut him down, sorry, we can shut the whole Wrexham team down. Look at this guy celebrating before the game. Oh, I think he's got a bit of booze in him. Ball Mullin, he is Premier League worth. You have played with all oh, Wrexham. What a save by the goalkeeper. I'd played with Wrexham all them years ago. They were a good team. Barnett had a chance to cross one in on the half an hour mark. And it was Alaydin and McLean. Has he got the... Oh, where's the defence when you need him? It's Paul Mullin for Rexa. Rexham have taken the lead. And it looks like it's going to be hard. Chilvers has got other ideas. Jay passes on to Tavide. And Lukaku looks alike. Look alike. Scores emphatically. I think this guy is going to go all the way. Very top. 22 years of age. Finishing like a pro. Pass the goalkeeper on his Vika foot. Chance. Passes on to Jay. Is he going to return the favour? Oh, he's the pose. And Wrexham managed to clear the lines. Back comes the attack. Is Jay missed it early? Is he going to score? Yes, he dummies the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper jumped out of the way. And Colchester have taken the lead for the first time today. Look at that, Jay. Oh, this guy was good. I got him in free. Well, he was in the team, but 3 2 victory. Mullin got. The equaliser, but Tavede wasn't happy with the draw. 32 games into the season. What a turnaround for Colchester. They are going for promotion. As MK Dons hoping to stop us. I hope they don't stop us because I want to go into League 1 end of the season. Tavede had a chance and he fired past the goalkeeper in the first 10 minutes. Early pressure from Colchester paying off with an early lead. 1-0. And Tevede scoring his 15th league goal so far this season. This guy's been absolutely immense up front. Portsmouth, the previous club I managed in League 1. Not quite sure what they're doing in League 2. But this is the FA Cup, sorry. And newbie, pass it across. And it is Tevede. What a start to the game. 10 minutes into the game. And it is 1-0 to Colchester over Portsmouth at Fratton Park. Fratton Park. Oh, a very risky stadium even for the big teams. But Colchester dominating from the minute go. As it looks like we're going for three points at Fratton Park. Not three points into the round three at the uh, Emirates, FA Emirates Cup. Portsmouth had the chance. What a save by the goalkeeper. I think this is the round four, the round five. I'm not quite sure. It's definitely not round three. Oh, own goal at the stroke of half time. Straight from the corner. It was a mix up bef between the defenders. But worse to come by Portsmouth as Poole loses the ball. And great save by the goalkeeper. Pushing it out for a corner. Ten men. Portsmouth can be force a replay. Colchester has the chance. To Vede. Ball falls to the right man. Hall. Brings it back to the seer. Tavede goes past the defender. He has to pass it across. Definitely an egg ball. Oh, Portsmouth have been defeated in the 92nd minute of the game of Fratton Park. The 10 men resilience have been broken. And we are heading off to the next round. And it is full time at Fratton Park. No time for a restart. And Portsmouth defeated Expert Khan, delighted with his team performance. And I'm sure the, um, Colchester can go all the way this season. But Burnley was at FA Cup next round. This is round six, by the way. Just one more round to go before we get to the semi final. And I am hoping we do because these FA Cup tights are really hard. But if we were to play properly, with the tactics given by expert card prior to the game, we can hold on to Burnley and force a replay and hope then we can beat them. But early chances for the Argentinian side. Scoring in the early goals. 16 minutes on the clock and a goal for Colchester. They are heading one direction and that is to round 
the last eight, I should say, the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Burnley 1-0 down at Turf Moor. It was worse to come from Burnley to Vede going past the defence. And cheeky enough pulling it back for his teammate to make it 2-0 to Colchester. Burnley shocking defensively at the back. As Colchester make it 2-0, Chilvers with a goal, second goal in the FA Cup for this man here. And he's hoping his team makes it all the way to the semis at least and they can see the sights of Wembley. But Big Fish is awaiting us in the quarterfinals. I hope it's not a Big Fish, but it is going to be. Burnley tried to get something out of the game at the stroke of half time a chance and it is oh we've been punished with our own tactics Burnley comprehensive at the back uh, and then scoring on the other end to make it 2-1 but Colchester won relying on defence it was Tivede who is gone one and one defence is he gonna pass it he's gonna shoot so he passes across and Chilvers makes it to three two and two goal restored for Colchester this game is going to the wire as Burnley is pushing for the he was pushing for the equaliser but Colchester had other ideas playing Bradford City in the later stages of the season wasn't a good idea we've got Wimbledon in a week's time but Bradford City here we come Bradford City is a is a city in England in Yorkshire well pride it is that we've got a good team we're playing them I'm really eager to do Bradford City in the near future but here was a chance I was managing against them Tivede had early chance and putting it well over the bar just before the half time whistle Bradford City had their best chance with Smith or oh, look like offside is it is it offside? No, the referee's given it. I'm not quite sure. If this is not offside, then they have played it perfectly. And the linesman eyesight. I'm not quite sure what it is, but the goal stands as we see it. Here comes Edwards. He's got feet. He can go past defenders. Chilvers in the box. And a finish by Newby to equalise just after the break. Colchester hoping to get three points and four. Climb higher in the table so far. They're finishing just in the top 10 area. But a draw against Bradford City. Two points drop. Wimbledon second last game at Court Lane. We have to win to finish in the top half now. Simply as Wimbledon actually drew with us in the first game of the season. If you can remember. But this time we are home. And home games are quite easy to win. Even if you're playing FC 24 or any other game he just feels like home first chance coming to McLean I hope he doesn't score from here and I can see a handball there and he has been given Oh, Wimbledon four minutes into the game and the chance for Davison oh what a cheeky fella this guy he is not looking after his ex uh, ex manager expert card I did Wimbledon in my early in my managerial career if you've not seen the video go and check it out Davison set in Tilly and Wimbledon can really pack it up oh Boogle come on poor defensive there poor defensively Colchester Boogle makes it 2-0 in the first 15 minutes look like Wimbledon are gonna run right here they've got a good kit and they've got a good team Edwards were brought down but Tivede continued is he gonna set one up yes newbie what a save by the goalkeeper back comes Edwards penalty is it no referee points to the other way and Bass should clear but Byler Poor defensive errors by the defenders as two centre-backs of Wimbledon. Chance for Edwards to get one back before the half-time break. And guess what? He does that. It is 2-1 to Wimbledon. Poor defensive error. And Wimbledon have been punished. A cold Chester hoping to equalise at the hour mark. Newbie! And he does. He equalises for Colchester. And three points was an uh, objective start of the game. And start of the season, we wanted to finish in the top half of the table, and season ended. It's a 2 2 draw. And look at that 46 games done. We finished 12, but it's just about in the top half. Bradford City and MK Dons going to League One, FA Cup going to Spurs, beating City on penalties 6 5. 
Carabao Cup going to Manchester United beating Arsenal 40 on pens. Come on, you gunners. Bolton winning the BSM trophy, Bristol Street Motors. And League 2 playoff is going to Salford beating Notts County in the final. City winning the Super Cup beating Sevilla 2 1. Dortmund winning the old German Champions League final. That is impressive. Uh, I really want Dortmund to beat Bayern Munich somehow. Villarreal losing in the final. So AC Milan, like they did to us in the previous game, uh, previous save. Lyon, Lille losing to Fenerbahce. Sorry, Lille beating Fenerbahce 2 1. And that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading FIFA content daily. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching.